Hello and welcome back here. My name is Risk and alongside me is Launders and we will be your casters for this game in the Sevo Professional League Season 7. It's going to be Mouse Sports against NIP and we're already starting the game with the pistol round here as Chris J picks up the first one and actually a second one as well with the USP and he's just continuing to roll but eventually he, NIP will get the better of him. And Alu trying to nail the shots here but it will be get right. So now a 2v3 situation. Speedy coming in. Has to grab a frag here, surely, in order for this to go well. He's actually in a good position. He's going to grab one and go for that second. He's not. Gonna, he's going to hit it in the end. And now it's all on Alu. So Speedy here with two important frags. And they have seen each other, but Alu has the bomb now. And he can rotate all the way onto the B bomb site. So Launders, quick uh, intro into that pistol round. And, and now Speedy 1v1 versus Alu. Yeah, I think he knows what's going on. I... Speedy taking his time here. The alley going B is a smart move. He can delay as long as time possible, get a good spot. And oh, I think Speedy might have noticed him right there. So yeah, now it'll come down to an A battle. Oh, oh and he gets good. Spends it, dude. <laughs> Six shot from Alu there. Yeah, Speedy was almost a nice round there. But uh, couldn't defend that bomb. Was definitely a little bit worried about just throwing that, taking the fight right away. Ends up losing anyway. So, you know, decisions you have to make. I think they. Both made suitable plays for sure. So here we go, Eco from Mouse Sports. As a NIP just buy up whatever they can. It's gonna be a couple of SMGs here. Forest getting ready here in middle. Might take out Chris J as soon as he peeks. Goes down to 66 HP. Next actually deciding to um to force up here by a 5-7 and full full armor, where the rest of his team are only on pistols, so. Hmm, interesting. Inter interesting choice, and he's, he's already taking some damage, and he has actually taken a kill here, going for that second one as well. 5-7 is so good in this range, and he's going to do some damage, but not grab another kill, but still one for one trade. Chris J here trying his best with the USPS, as Freiburg gets Dennis down on the opposite bomb side. Now it's all on Gop B, and he's going to die as well, so only one frag this round for Mouseports here against the NIP team. 2-0 to zero, it's going to be the score, and yeah, Mouseports... Having yet another eco. Yeah, Chris is just going to be looking to keep as much money as possible. Speedy buys a, a Mag 7. It's like everybody's taking turns just buying one thing. Yeah. Um, Speedy has been very good. It's very good with a with a Mag 7. He always buys like the weirdest guns. Like he'll buy, well, you know, MP9 is a great gun, but he'll buy the MP9, he'll buy the Mag 7, he'll buy a Nova. Um, and he'll be the one scouting. Like he'll always buy the weirdest. He'll buy a Krieg sometimes. Oh, that's a good, very, very good Molotov doing some damage there onto the CTs. Had to do some, some kind of damage into Dennis, I think that was. He's now sitting in the back of the site with 52 HP. Currently three CT players on that B bomb side, and they're now pushing in Freiburg. Mac 10. Oh, receiving a headshot, but he's still, Exist gonna still be able to get that kill onto Chris J. Freiburg still trying to push in here. Forest and Exist doing good damage to Scopy, trying to hold it down. Actually, Forest with a team kill onto Freiburg. Not good for the economy of, of NIP. But they're going to win the round nonetheless. Speed is now all alone. In a 1v2. Still doable. Oh, nice. very doable. Yeah. Forest only had 10 HP for Alu, so if Alu didn't get that kill, who knows? Could have got ugly real quick, but uh, it was overall a very good round. I mean, they invested in that uh, Mag 7, but I don't think it made a difference. Economically, as long as I mean, it, it, it seemed like Christian was saving for an op, but I guess they're just gonna rifle up. Something wrong with that to do that on Inferno. Uh, you don't need an op to win a round on CT um, ever. Yeah, my main problem with NRP right now is that Alu has not upgraded to to an AWP, even though he probably had the money. He's staying on that MP7 while the entire CT team has bought up, so it's gonna be quite hard. For him, he can pick up the weapon on Banana now, though, if he, if he wants to go for it. He's going to do exactly that and yeah. grab that AK. I think that's why he did it, because, you know, if they lose, they'll be able to buy again. And, and also, if four, four players buy, it's really easy to find a gun um, yeah. on a teammate. You send one on a risky mission, see if you can get a frag. If you can't get it, then you just cycle that gun. Yeah. So, Freiburg goes down. It's a 3v4. It's going to be pushed towards middle. Get right already here in Arch, while Forrest has pushed all the way into short. One player in pit, and he's gonna get flashed out. One player on the bomb side, that's Christier. 
We see half and spotted now, but we'll look at the frag on Forest. Get right here, trying to lurk around, but he's just probably going to be shut down by Speedy, and that's all on Alu. Looks like Mousepots are going to win this first buy round. Between these two here, Alu locking one down, but not the second. Next with the kill, and that's going to be Mousepots' first round, one to three. That was a that was a pretty solid round from Mouse. Just uh, we're able to lock it down off the back of really good shooting. I mean, NIP are playing it really fast. I mean, these rounds are going by pretty quickly. Overall, fast beat control, fast up mid. No one's throwing set smokes. They're not waiting for information. They're just trying to push in uh, to you know the the standard two three setups. After it looks like NIP just are only trying to get uh, banana control first. And now we're gonna have a smoke down B. So. That's going to decentivize, trying to push up too early. Dennis also taking a little bit of early damage. Not too much, but it's down to 65. Oh, it's just destroying his luck through the smoke. Actually does some damage to Dennis now on 61 HP. But still holding that aggressive position. Such an interesting duel that they, everyone takes. I mean, for uh, for anyone on T side, that's going to favor them. I mean, if you're... I mean, Dennis is shooting AK, but... If you uh, you know you trade that one for one, that's that's not very good for uh, U.S. CT and it's a couple smokes out. eh? I don't think they're gonna act on these. And we have players rotating back into the site, so I was just trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And next, are in a good position. Almost saw get right, but the terrorists are rotating on towards banana. Get right, probably just. Hoping to, to catch a lurk frag here. Goppy in the corner. He's going to surely take down Exist, but can he take down the next man? No, he's not. Frybeck jumps in. And, well, they have the uh, the B bomb side right now. Get right will be shut down. No lurk from him this time around. And it's going to be a 4v3. Most planned scenario. Bomb goes down. Dennis goes into construction. Picks up Alu early on. And now they don't have. Well, the CT's just. Have to wait a second. Figure out the position since they have that 4v2 advantage now. 4v1 advantage. It's Forrest in the back of that bombsite. Goes for the second peak, but he's not going to get it. Speedy locks it down. And second round in a row for Mouseports. Yeah, they do They do grab it. Um, that's that's both rifles, so that's really, really good for them. I mean, the NMP did get off to a nice early spark start, but Mouseports have plenty of time, plenty of rounds to, to come away with like more than solid half. I mean... It's obviously 12-3 potential. I don't think that'll be the case when all is said and done. But uh, so far, they're they're maintaining their economy. They're, they're building a bank on a few players. And then as long as they have a rebuy, they won't have to go into a save. And if you have a second chance at a CT round, I mean, you shouldn't lose it. So uh, with all that in mind, I mean, I don't see Mel Sports losing, you know, more than more than one round in a row at this rate. Allo now pushing all the way up to mid with, uh, with his skill earlier. Gonna take some nade damage, not too much. And they, of course, have the standard. Oh, Speedy missing a huge incendiary there. They, of course, have that standard three man setup on A. But is it gonna be enough when all these terrorists come rushing in? Speedy behind the smoke. We're gonna assist down, at least do some damage. The terrorist also coming into the bomb side right now. Get right with one, but Speedy shuts it down immediately next with two as well. Danny's holding down the side, and it's gonna be Freiburg all alone. Maybe able to take the bomb site. No, nope, oh. not, and that's three rounds in a row for Mouse Sports. Doing quite well. Double kill from Dennis. Yeah, it's a much faster pace than we're used to. Uh, but these rounds are, are going by, and uh, NIP are trying to trade out. Speedy did a really great job in pit there. He got two kills. He stayed alive for a very long time. Did a lot of damage to the last player, and. Uh, also shut down the app's aggression. I mean, that was exist there on the force Y, so NIP have no choice but to save now. So far, Mouseport's looking solid. Yeah, Alu this time around going for the Deagle. Christian is shutting him down immediately. So now it's going to be all P250s for the terrorist team. So. The Tyrus, what do they want to do here? Forrest getting ready with the P250, but then is immediately locking Freiburg down on the banana. They have two players pushing aggressively on that banana. Pop flash goes over from Forrest. And it's not really... Oh, actually, as I say that, get right, gets a, a frag in full flash. So now Guppy can hide behind the smoke, but the rest of the team can kind of rotate, or at least they're going to rotate one player onto construction since the Tyrus players are moving onto banana. That is the safe choice. Still two players on that A bomb side, so just playing 2A, 2B, 
Good choice from the CTs not to over rotate since Forrest has picked up. Uh, that AK 47 next shuts him down though. Mm -hmm. Taking that peek in that formation. And now they know that B is pretty much forced here, but oh, a good flash from both sides actually favors exist more. He does find a frag and that right comes out to trade on Speedy, but Speedy, getting the better of him. Now Sword's coming with another round, kept three alive once again. And uh, that's, that's the money is slowly building up. I mean, this is going to be another buyout for NIP. And the only thing they have going in their favor is the loss bonus. But yeah. more than that, they haven't won a rifle yet. So, NIP, what do they want to do now? I wouldn't say they've come truly, truly close either. They're uh, on the couple of rounds they've, the rifle rounds that they've lost, it's been kind of. Three players alive, or two players alive from Mouseports, but they never really seem to have lost control or even let the bomb go down. No, that is true. So right now, Mouseports keen on playing it defensively. One player boosted up on roof onto short. And, uh, well, Getright has pushed all the way up here in apartments, as we can see. Freiburg taken out by Dennis, that was on the banana. Maybe peeking a bit too aggressively. Pop flash goes in, no damage done. So right now get right, of course, in his usual position, trying to lurk here as soon as uh, his teammates gets the frag on the other side and that's exist getting that double with the CT players know exactly like this is what get right always does. They know he's going to be lurking. They know he's going to be on that opposite side of where he exists and the rest of the team goes. So luckily they, they get to shut him down. That's it. 3v3 post plants an hour. Two players are going to come from banana and well, no one's in the back of that bomb site. So. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice here. Next coming in, he's gonna take down Allo. That's a good pre-fire now. They also know the position of Exist. And the last guy is Forrest, of course, here in construction. Once again, all alone. And, oh, this is hard. Oh, he's got it. Wow. Great yeah, replay. he's gonna go straight on that bomb. And Forrest gonna get the kill, but that's a second too late. Mouseport's now going 5-3 to three here on the CC side. I think it's MP. They look well oiled right now. I mean, yeah. on that 3v3, I felt like they won it even when it was 3v3. Just seeing them come up banana, they were perfectly co coordinated. They threw their nades um, at the uh, at the right moments. They threw one into you know, the back of quad. They cleared they, uh, next through his flash up on the roof and then cleared that close right while um, they had a teammate push construction. I mean, he had a flash up, but he would have killed Forrest or he would have killed uh, Exist, I think, who was there. Um, no problem if not for it. And yeah, they just, that was solid. Whoa, oh, and, wow. and that was after two, okay, it's a good trade. That was after two, like, instant entries from Exist, and they still won. Yeah. It seems like uh, mouse parts have some kind of idea of what NIP are doing, and they're pretty good at playing against that. But right now, it's a 3v3. Once again, Alu pushes on the side of the smoke, and now NIP going to have this bomb side. It's not going to be a 3v3 retake. Now it's going to be 2v3, and that just makes it so much harder and a bunch of flashbangs for the terrorists here not as much for the CTs but Speedy still gets a frag onto Allen now they have one player on the banana one at the back of the bomb site the NIP players and they've pretty much seen flashbangs come from close angles so they will know exactly where these guys are and it's gonna be Speedy 1v1 in the end and he's gonna get it Speedy sick clutch 3k coming out from him and once again Speedy He's, he's doing so well in this game so far, getting so many frags. Yeah, he, he looks fantastic. I mean, him and everyone looks fantastic, honestly. They were, they, they look so good right now. It was 2v3 retake. Um, they they saw where that flash came from, so he got the kill, got that one, that 1v1. I mean, that's just too good. Most sports are, are nuts. And they, they are going up against another buy here again. And IP are going up against with that with that loss bonus and the combined bomb plant, they're able to buy fully every single time. So that's the one thing that Mouse will have to work constantly work against. But this is kind of how uh, you know a map like Inferno will work in the ideal sense. Is the CTs will have these advantages, uh, but uh, if if the terrorists can earn the bomb plant every time, they'll have more opportunities to continue to get rounds. Yeah. And so far, there's some great Counter Strike. Yeah, especially coming out of Speedy, who's had uh, 15 frags. I can't really see the scoreboard, but I'm getting it's around that that amount. Um, sick, sick amount of frags after 10 rounds. Uh, we actually only in round number 10, so he has the opportunity to do an even more here. Forrest with one nice entry onto Chris J, but I don't think they're going to move too much on it. Rotating one player from B to A right now. And exists. Good frag onto Speedy. This might be the entry. And here we go. Gobby coming around the corner though. Can he take down Alu? He will take down Alu. Bomb is pushing apartments. 
get right. Can one Fragon Forest still holding this mid area? And okay, Mouseburst just giving up here. Just gonna save straight up. Yeah, um, Forest got the entry, stayed alive, and uh, they were able to take Arch Control as well as um, get the bomb down before anyone could rotate. So they they, they they locked that up pretty nicely. I mean, this is the thing is that you know Mouseburst are able to win these two on two, two on three retakes, but. Letting the bomb go down has been their biggest problem, and you know ultimately that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Once NIP figured out how to how to really um, use that entry to close up the round, um, they can do it, and they've been able to get entries consistently, right? So it's kind of like exactly how the terrorist team should operate in the CTs, uh, being forced to retake, but then also pulling it off. And oh, exists actually kills his teammate. That's a huge. Yeah, nice I'm not sure what rebuy. was going on there. That was uh that was weird. <laughs> Good Shazam. So four to six here. Both teams buying up. Speedy only on a max seven this time around. And Christy also lacking a couple of grenades, no smokes on him as well. Uh on the other side, get right also without any grenades. So pretty even here between these two teams and of course Mouseports having that small lead as you expect on that CT side. Got B caught in the oh. fire, but they will get one frag each. Fiber back though. Fiber just pushing in through the smoke. He has some kind of idea um, where the CT player is, but Chris J comes in with the perfect backup, with the perfect timing. Of course, though, the frag onto Nex. Yeah, and this is what NIP are so good at. I mean, they keep it loose, right? They make it look like it's just going to be a B play. But that's just because their players are so good, they're able to get an entry, and they all they already have one person to the other side, keeping their options open. Really throwing most sports off guard. I mean, typically see all teams just rotate to the one player who has made it happen. But instead, you have Forrest waiting patiently and finding a pick a opening up the site. But ultimately, oh, most sports still have no problem sealing up the round. And this time, yeah. the bomb doesn't go down. And I think they, uh, yeah, they're they're gonna have to save. They lost a, it's a that's they lost a round after six in a row. So. I have to say, really, I'm really impressed by mouse parts in the CT side so far. Um, holding an IP on only four rounds, and yeah, they're, they're doing such a good job of, of just taking these rounds. Of course, NIP have gotten the bomb down a few times, but now with this round, as you said, did not get the bomb down now, forcing NIP on an eco. And many players and well, fans and commentators like myself and you probably would have said NIP is going to take this 2 to 0, but right now, mouse parts looking like they can do some battle here, not only on the second map, Ditas 2, but also on the first one here, NIP's map choice here on Inferno. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they're just going to be even better on Dust 2. Um, yeah. But, but this map isn't quite over, and that pistol is starting to look more and more valuable. Ooh, oh, Fryberg. Wow. <laughs> nice BP 50 shot. And, oh, oh, good. Next. Great spray transfer. Yeah, now only one player remaining that success. He will be locked down as well. So 8 to 4. And um, hopefully some money to come NIP's way soon enough. They can buy here. Force buy coming out from them. Exist only on a Galil. Get right. Also cont contemplating what to buy here. Could buy an AK, but he's going to be lacking. Only gets one flashbang. Yeah, this is this is a tight round. I mean, Mouse Sports win this. They're going to have a great half overall. If they lose yeah. this, it's actually not going to be that great of a half um, in total. Just because that five round mark is kind of good uh, for NIP. But uh, this is this is also in, a round that most sports could win pretty easily, and and uh, NIP won't have you know uh, an extreme loss bonus to buy every single round. If they're able to get a plant, they might they might do it anyway. But uh, they've spent all their money here, and they're only going to be getting tw uh, 20, 19, 2400. So. Robert gonna try his luck here the banana. Of course, known as the king of the banana, so not a big surprise. Gonna put down the smoke and get ready for the team because most of the team now rotating in towards the spawn side. Can he get the entry? He gets one entry and gets the position of the second guy. As NIP will decide to rush straight in. There's no backup in CT just yet, so they can just smoke it all out. Spending may maybe too many smokes at once. Um, but still, they're gonna get the bomb down. They're gonna have that 4v3. Um, defense scenario and CTs might not even go for this one. Nope. They're just saying, okay, let's save our guns and uh, bring some more money into the next round. I feel like they still feel the presence of a, a terrorist over here um, at yeah. this site. As that looked like one of the rounds where uh, NIP have tried to work B, but 
have kept their options open, leaving a player at the other site. And uh, so most sports fully aware of that. But are conceding around the fifth round of the half. I mean, this is kind of, you know, playing out exactly how Inferno you would expect it to play out with two teams that are playing really well. Um, and if he had got that valuable pistol, a couple of rifle rounds, and most sports have gotten the majority of the others. Uh, saving these guns is, is important. I mean, this is going to mean that they're going to be able to uh, buy in full. I think it's a great idea, actually, to save in that situation. I think Gob needed to stay alive longer in the B site, though. Um, yeah. yeah. Gob is, I think, a great caller. Um, like, really good. I think he's awesome. But uh, frag-wise, not quite as strong as, as his teammates, obviously, which, you know, would be hard to do. But uh, in that situation, could have could have had the potential for a retake if you maybe just fall off the construction. And that is true. Right now, I'm gonna go for an aggressive smoke down banana. The CTs, and they're actually gonna have uh, one player pushed all the way down. That's Dennis, and then they're gonna have Gob B on the top of banana as well. So they have that area locked down right now. And Chris Tate with the AWP on that A bomb side. Standard 3-2. They've got two on Banana, so I mean, this this doesn't necessarily mean that A is wide open, but they have apps control, so if they if NIP wanted to take full A in this situation, I wouldn't blame them. Time is ticking down. Working B could mean risking losing picks, and it, it looks like they might be setting up some smokes. This doesn't necessarily mean with them that they're going to hit the site afterwards, but that's what makes NIP so good. True. So... 33 seconds to go here for NIP. Trying to decide on where to go. Smokes are popping now. Forest smoke is coming in here. And that is going to be the signal. Rotation is already happening from the CT side. Can Chris J pick up the opening frag? And he's going to land that one uh, on exist. But Freiburg and Forest answering quickly back. Two CT players coming in through the smoke. Goppy actually coming straight in through the smoke here. Could peek out and get Freiburg. But Freiburg stays the appropriate amount of time. Bomb is going to go down here. And it's going to be 3v2. One player in pit, they already know that. The second one coming in here, that's going to be Dennis gets one before losing. And, and as you said, that, that five round bar there, NIP now getting that fifth round. And, oh, oh, excuse me, that sixth round. So, decent half for them. If they can grab the seventh, that's going to be amazing uh, for a T side. Yeah, they're, they're quota. They met their quota. I mean, if Mouse Sports meet their get their nine i'd say they have their quota too they should they should be able to come away with uh t rounds but i the thing is that you know if you don't have that 10 5 you're gonna need that pistol and yeah, uh exactly yeah forest though i mean he got he got them the most important picks that round those entries were uh, so necessary like he killed chris j and when chris j had a repeat if he didn't hit that headshot chris j would have destroyed him and and yeah. then killing the pit player i mean the pit player that's how that's how you repick a is having fit and he was so good there throughout the half. Oh, good night on Goppy as well, hiding in that corner, trying a, a trick out of Get Right's old playbook with the Max 7. As um, well, as NIP get ready to roll onto that B bomb side, but two CT players there already. It's going to be Goppy in the corner, and then it's on the bomb side, and I think they're going to pre fire Goppy's position. No, they're not. He's just going <laughs> to. Oh, he misses both shots. That's horrible from Goppy. <laughs> Uh, such a bad scenario for him, and well, there's no reason to save, boys. So, better get at it. But they know exactly. They know that that get right is going to be lurking somewhere, and next just loses his life. One v five now for Speedy, trying to bank through the smoke, but with a 16 HP, it's it's yeah, missing the impossible here. <laughs> oh, he's going to burn alive. He just said, "Screw it, I'm going to barbecue myself." That's great. Yeah, you know, they don't even have to leave Get Right there. They Just them knowing that someone is going to be on the other side of the map slows down their rotation so much that they yeah. they end up taking forever to get to the other site, relying on on site holds, which NIP are always taking advantage of. They rely on entries, and uh, it works for them because they have great entry records. I mean, Exist got two entries by himself on a site with, you know, some of the best players in the world. Uh, and... Uh, and Freiburg is able to get one multiple rounds, so uh, that's going to mean an eight seven half overall. Mel Sports had you know hard earned rounds, but overall NIP were able to come back in those last three crucial rounds. Yeah, um, I think a so, little bit of banana control in that last round would have been um, would have been uh, a good idea, but 
hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, and once again we see NIP with actually a great spread of spread of frags. They're all sitting around nine to eleven frags. On the other side, Mouseports is pretty much Speedy, who's carrying the team, and then Goppy in in the opposite end of it. So, not as 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 a natural spread of frags on that Mouseport side. They they need to have that one player to carry the team. And this time around, it's it's been Speedy. It's been doing a good job. But look at Alu with the P two thousand, two frags already, and going for a third one as well. Gonna get locked down by Chris, but. Still, training two for one is just perfect. And now, while oh. Christy has a sick lock as well. And he's actually gonna get the 3k. The question is now, can he can he make the ace happen? This is this is a legit chance for an ace for Christy right now. Because he's gonna get that bomb down before um, Freiburg can rotate around, I think. Or, oh, he's gonna go aggressive. I'm not quite sure if I like that. Mm. Um, Could have probably jumped uh, to Grill and then planted it there. Instead, decided to go the long way around. Oh, and now NFP are letting him plant once again, I mean. Yeah, he's, he's gonna get that bomb down, but I'm pretty sure Freiburg's gonna lock him down once, he, once he picks out. But low HP on Freiburg. He, he does not see Forrest, and that's surely gonna be the end of the round. Forrest should be able to land the shots here. But no, he won't actually. Christian with a 4k Freiburg on 31 HP, but it's not gonna be enough. So close, but yet so far for the mouse boss player. And NIP's gonna tie it up, 8 to 8. And now on the CT side, so surely the ball is now in NIP's court. They just have to dribble around with it for a little bit and then just uh, score the final goal. Yeah, you know, he was trying to make that a 1v1. I, I, I definitely, th you know, obviously looking at the mini-map, right? If if he knew that the, the CT player was that far away from coming around the corner, he would have gone for that plan, 100%. But uh, he thought that he could have a really good timing with a player trying to, you know, uh, trying to panic rotate around the corner and try to catch him off guard. And then maybe even push the aid, knowing that he might get flanked. But uh, instead, uh, got the plant anyway. Almost, almost aced it. I mean, that was a pretty huge round. And also a big amount of money. Chris J now able to buy that AK-47. Um, yeah, despite having trouble in that pistol. So it's interesting what Chris J is going to be able to do here. I think the biggest thing counting against mouse sports at this moment is that NIP have two pistols to their name, and the NIP yeah. are about to take a lead. But whoa, whoa! Chris is an off. I mean, Chris is an AK. Yeah. And it's not even dropped. This is it's his own AK. That's the that's the funny part. Alu picks up that first frag, exists with the second one. They're gonna get control of Arch, but that doesn't really matter if you have Forest on that roof, and he can just pick players down. Finally, Gobby is going to be able to take him out, but it doesn't really matter because he doesn't have the bomb, and yeah, control is pretty much is, is in, in the hands of NIP, and now it's going to be 9 to 8 here. And this is where NIP gets dangerous because they're on the CT side, they know they can do well, they have the lead, and this is the time where sometimes they just start to snowball completely, and there's just no stopping them. They just turn it up in like 6 gear and, and stop carrying. Yeah, they they are you know afforded around here just to widen that lead, and IP are going to be pushing down middle. Um, oh, oh, oh yo, wow, Forest! Actually, did not go for the spray. Uh -oh. Surprises me. Um, but great, get right is going to get some money in the bank. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Two frags with the swag seven, and that's going to be ten to eight for NIP. And now get right six k. Has a um, full setup as well with nades and everything, and he's going to stay on that max seven. Yeah, actually, NIP off to um, start uh, a much better economic start than Mouse were in the first half. Um, after, well, actually, they didn't win the pistol, so that makes that makes perfect sense. But uh, now Mouse Sports are going to be going into a buy round, and I'm curious to see what they're going to try to do first. I mean, this is going to be the first buy round of the half. They're not going to feel out of it until they lose maybe you know two or three, but. Until then, here we have Get Right. Full flash on Banana. Yeah, he's that was alive by Chris J. Very, very aggressive position from the. Uh, I think they knew right. exactly what he was going to do considering yeah. he had a spike last round. Oh, oh, that's a good spray from Freiburg, though. Just sees the head of Dennis and then just sprays the smoke and gets to frag. Technically, I think he saw the AK as well, so with another smoke down, he could go out and pick up the AK. Not quite sure if you want to commit to that because there is still the danger of Vitaris lurking outside, and there is right now. Rotating back though, I think it's Christian that banana. Well, MP7 just one versus an AK, so why drop the better gun, right? 
So Alu now in the middle with definitely a better gun with the AWP and he takes down next. There's another guy at the same position almost, but that's Christian that's going to be locking him down. That was a, that was a bit of a re-peek there. Uh, that was punished by a rifle. I think he wouldn't have done that if he knew there was not, but got punished anyway. And Force is going to be on the apps. I mean, he can do damage for sure from here, especially if they don't clear it. Like, they're just letting him... Oh, wow. Oh. Good shot from Speedy, though. Exist is going to take one before dying. That's going to be all on Freiburg. 1v2. <laughs> Now he wishes he had the AK. Yeah, exactly. That's Wait, why. why didn't he get it? I mean, I don't know. Because surely it had to be there, unless like the terrorist player went on banana and then tossed it over the wall. That might have happened. Mouse sports could be that smart. But it doesn't matter. The better gun. <laughs> <laughs> Quite insane. Uh, Fiber getting that 3k with an MP7 against fully bought up AKs. And yeah. he's going to grab the orb as well. Wow. Uh, that's not a and he got how much money for that? Look, he's 12k. <laughs> yeah, it's 12k. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if they if they had won that round, it would have been nine nine ten. I mean, oh, that's hugely different than what it is now. But they they do have another buy on their hands. It's not going to be the best buy ever. Best buy. But <laughs> uh, NIP have an auto. No shame. They're busting up the auto sniper. No shame at all. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Gob didn't even want that. So, three AKs remaining. How many more can Exist pick off? That's another one. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like bump. Like, you give me an auto sniper, I'll embarrass myself for sure. So, I always have respect when you can get. Oh, oh. There we go. See, Finally. that's me before I get a kill. <laughs> Exist taken out, but Forrest is, of course, there to take his place. Now it's going to be Speedy, the best player so far for mouse bots in this game in a 1v4 situation and Forrest coming in from behind. He actually senses that Forrest is ever, it doesn't matter, he's gonna get locked down from both angles and NIP will secure yet another round 12 to 8 right now and well they have enough money. Mouse sports gonna be on an eco so surely it's gonna be 13 to 8 as well. Can I do the forest buy here? Um, mouse sports with the Tech 9s and, and one piece of 50, so they're gonna put some money into it. Of course, not spending all of it, so they're gonna be able to buy next time, but they have a good chance of winning this one as well with four Tech 9s with full armor. Yeah, they know always half buy when you have a max loss bonus, and if you yeah. save a little bit of money, why not? So, got B leading the team here, it's gonna pop our uh, flash over. Oh, exist. <laughs> Hearing, hearing that he's hitting one enemy, he's just gonna stay in that oh. smoke and he gets one, two, three! Gonna get that fourth as well, no before he steals it away. And perfect hold in that mid. Exist just standing in the middle of it all, just taking frag after frag, securing a 13th round for NIP. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, Mel is just uh, not getting any traction so far. I mean, it all started with... Uh, they, they actually had a double save because of that, because it's Freebird 1v2 with the MP7. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty rough. So, Exist, not with an auto sniper this time around, it's going to be get right with that one. Going to get naded out though. Let's see here. Alu with an AWP in apartments, not going to hit anything. And Forrest in the bedroom. Going to probably clear Goppy if he tries to enter. Freiburg actually very aggressively here on Banana. With his AK-47, or with Speedy's AK-47, technically. Yeah, he's the only man here. I mean, I wonder if they'll try to exploit him. Yeah, they're looking for this flash. He is completely blind. He's going to be falling into the site. And I think they know he's solo at this point. Yeah. Good uh, incendiary coming down, though. But Yeah, he, he gets into the defensive position without losing a single party fail. So that's... Oh, now they're going to wait for Speedy to look for a pick. Yeah. Is he going to find it? He does. Yeah. And that's probably going to force one of the CTs to rotate back towards A, while the rest will hit B. But it's still going to be a, a two, two CT defense there. I and think they needed to run it back really quickly because yeah, now they have they no have, time to. They have 30 seconds, and now they're going to let one man. There we go. Make noise on banana, then rotate the rest. And Alu has to get the shot now. He gets the first one, gets the second. Alu doing good job here. Going for the third, he gets that as well. Alu with the. Yeah. Precise AWP does not miss, and he oh, gets the fourth without losing a single point of health. Alu just yeah, maniac no. moves. 
See, that, that was actually good. They, I think they took a little bit too much time there, but they maintained their rotations long enough. Like, they yeah. had three players slow to be. They committed one to B, that's fine. I mean, that's how you sell a fake. Um, little they know, NIP wouldn't have rotated anyway, but that's the, they still did the right call, and then came up mid and got destroyed by Alu. I mean, yeah. You know, that's, just... a, that's, that's a, a great example of doing the right, right strat, but actually losing the round due to an it individual can performance. Yeah. Doesn't mean you shouldn't have done it. Exist actually very aggressively behind bench. Picks up the first one, get marked with another one, and why not? As as I said before, a couple of rounds back, this is the NIP train that just does not stop. It just keeps on going, and will pretty much run everything over that's in this way. Pretty much exactly what you said, yeah. So Dennis and Speedy, um, well, make that just Dennis <laughs> on on an impossible mission. With an AK-47, five kills to find and 55 seconds to go. He's got a smoke. Oh yeah. That's all you need. Let's see here what he can find. Forest on the top of that roof. Exist, watching the exact position he's gonna come down from. He's gonna pre-fire. Doesn't even help him. Exist just locks him down, and pretty much everyone on A and I P just have insane amounts of money now. Um, 12k, 14k, 12k, 12k, then of course Forest and 3-6, but they have enough money to <laughs> win the game right now since they're on 15 and it's 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 map point right now, so they can afford to lose a couple of rounds and it's not going to be a problem for them. Next, even buying the P90 right now, speedy on the UMP, so yeah, it's, it's dire straits for Mouseport, probably already thinking about the next map, like how can we do well on Dust 2, because it obviously did not work out in the second half here on D Inferno. Yeah, you know, if you have two teams, let's say they're playing really well, um, both of them. I mean, the one thing that NIP had, first of all, oh, Gob comes out and entries both. Gob's mad. He just got both uh, both kills by himself. He just destroyed a crossfire with like a little. Oh, but Forrest is locking down the apps and, oh, can't find a second kill. So this is actually a breath of life for Mouse Sports. Finding their yeah. first T round, question mark. Yeah, let's see here. Get right in a clutch. That's the guy you want in a clutch situation because he just knows. How to do this, gets the first one, knows the second one is on the side, trying to spray through the box, but pulls out the 5-7, has to get the frag on Chris J right now, or else he's dead. He doesn't, and that's Chris J's frag, but as I said, the money is okay for NIP, they can afford to lose this one. Of course, they want to win as quickly as possible, but yeah, they can they can easily rebuy and easily give Alu another off. They can actually get uh, an auto snipe on to get right on or exist if they wanted to, so their money's just that good. This is a game of entries right now, uh, but you can't expect someone to jump through a smoke at mid and Galil both your both players in your crossfire every single round. So um, I think Gob is going to have to sit that strat out for the rest of the game, and they're going to have to think about something else they can do because overall NFP have just looked very dominant. And again, they have two two pistols to their name. If they didn't have those two pistols and those anti ecos, uh, this game would be no less than tied. Yeah, exactly. That's the important importance of pistols for all of you. New viewers to see us right there. That's why you we we care so much about those pistol rounds and why we hide them up so much. Forest Rider and Pit um, with that M4. Actually, this is something I've noticed. Forest plays unsilenced, or is that just a, a CS mm -hmm. uh, a Go TV bug? Because oh, what the heck? A lot of times in this match. Yeah, he's playing. Oh my god, is he really? So weird. Because he's, he's been doing that a couple of times in this game so far, and I've been wondering, is that a go to debug, or is he just playing unsilenced M4? And he apparently is. I'm not quite sure why, but interesting. He, he yeah. used to do that with his pistol. He was like infamous when the first when the pistol came out to play unsilenced pistol. Yeah. Which I think makes a little bit more sense than unsilenced M4. Unsilenced silenced M4. Like, it's the worst. So, 16 to 9 will be the score line here between Mouse Sports and Ninjas in Pajamas. We're going to go to the second map. It's going to be DE Dust 2, of course, the map pick of Mouse Sports, the map where we all envisioned them having a, a slightly bigger chance here. Of course, they, they did a good job, in my opinion, so I'm really hyped for DE Dust 2 to see what they can do there on the home map. Um, we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to back, be back with DE Dust 2 between Mouse Sports and NIP. We'll see you in a bit.